main event in Nagata from December 17, 2023. Donna Del Mondo versus Odeo Tai in a wild eight person tag team match. We're talking about Julia, Michaela, Mai Sakurai, and Thekla against Starlight Kid, Ruaka, Natsuka Tora, and Momo Watanabe. This is what you would expect. It was pretty wild. It was pretty all over the place. The tag rules weren't discarded too badly, but they weren't. It was a mixed bag. Of course, Ode- Odeo Tai did their outside the ring, throw you into the ringside chairs and railings and posts and slam you on the floor and do everything you can to get your mind off track and to get you angry and get you just wanting to fight and brawl instead of wrestle. And it worked for a while. Donna Del Mondo went that way and battled them, but it worked its way back to the ring as it typically does. Um, we don't want to see like a double count out in these matches, right? Odeo Tai would probably just be thrilled with that because they just don't care. They just don't care. They do whatever they want. I like Starlight Kid here. Um, she's starting to pick things up, starting to look a lot better. Not that she ever looked bad, but I, I feel like she's making somewhat of a comeback, which she needs. Um, again, I'm surprised by how much Micah, um, how much offense she takes. She had an impressive battle with Ruwaka. I mean, Julia had to break up a pin attempt by Ruwaka twice. That looked like had Micah down. I'm, I'm surprised that Micah, who is wrestling for the red belt in 10 days from now against Suzu Suzuki, is taking the beatings she is taking. Now, she always comes back and wins. She won the match here, taking Ruwaka out with the Michinoku driver, which was powerful and looked great. And so that's good. And, and she talked about her upcoming match, and she put over her partners, Donna Del Mondo, and said to keep an eye on all of them, including her going for the red belt. But again, they're making her look tough, like she can take a bunch of stuff and come back. I'm just surprised at the amount of stuff she's taking. I feel like Suzu Suzuki is made to look much more powerful and dominant in her matches than Micah is made to look in hers. Although, again, Micah still looks good, just not dominant the way Suzuki looks in her matches. Here again, uh, Mai Sakurai had another great match here. I don't care what you say about her, you're wrong. She's, she's very good. She's not the top wrestler in the company and probably never will be, but she's very good. And I enjoy her matches, even with some of the comedy shit she does, like the Paradise Lock. I just think she's better than she gets any credit for, her, as well as Thecla. I think Thecla should be higher up on the card. Um, surprisingly, uh, the Momo Watanabe and Natsuka Tora challenging for the tag titles went down here. They, they weren't the ones that got pinned, but surprised. I'm kind of surprised that their team lost, but then again, Mike is going for the red belt, so her team won. See what I mean? The psychology there, the storytelling there. Just have to pay attention and see what you think about that. Overall, great main event. Perfect show. My favorite match was a singles match. It, just because it was a singles match. I, I loved uh, Suzu Suzuki versus um, the Scandinavian Hurricane most of all. But all of this show was good, just like always. Um, anytime there's no Fukaigen death match, I'm a happy boy. <laughs> a happy, happy boy or man, happy samurai. Uh, but thanks again, Stardom, for a terrific show. Can't wait for the next one. Can't wait for Dream Queendom, which I'm going to try to preview and on a video. And I'm going to try to preview New Blood as well. I got a bunch of days coming off here, com- coming up here that I have off. I have like 16 days in a row off for the holiday. I'll be doing as much stuff as I can here and at the website, uh, wrestlingdoneright.com, which I acquired from the wrestling snob, Adam Lavelle. Um, he pretty much wasn't doing much with it, so I took it over because if there's anything like wrestling done right in the world, it's World Wonder Ring Stardom. See you again soon, guys.